Hello, and welcome to the TrekCraft server. Yeah! I'm over here on the Enterprise D rebuild, rebuild of the rebuild, rebuild, rebuild. Anyways, I'm working on a section that I pulled out of the ship. I'd kind of been hanging out, working on this thing for a while, just off and on, just to have something to do. And, uh, yeah, it's a big ship. Uh, the hull was done up by Calvin. Ramrod, I'm not sure exactly what his, uh, YouTube panel is, but, uh, yeah, yeah, Calvin Ramrod, Calvin Mitchell, Calvin Mitchell, that's it, yeah, I knew I'd remember the name eventually, so, yeah, forgive me, I'm old, I forget things, Jesus, anyways, so, the build's been going on for quite some time, and I, I've actually laid in most of the deck work for the saucer, I started working on the neck, and we ran into a snag, and the, uh, primary builder decided that um, it, it'd be better just to go off and build a new ship, uh, start from scratch again. So there's an, going to be another version of the D. And I don't know the ins and outs, but I do believe it's going to be a scaled version of the Wi-Fi plants, as uh, true and accurate to the Wi-Fi plants as possible. But, you know, Anyway, so this all here is here, and I worked with Calvin for quite some time, and I also worked with CreeperBot and did some setups. But yeah, it's just it. I just kind of roughly phoned it in as far as the deck plan went on the inside, and now I got to go back and fix it. Yeah, there was just a lot of disparating uh, parts of it that needed to be gutted and uh, redone, and not to anybody's build desire. Just things got changed over time and uh, design creep set in and now it needs to be you know uh redone this time with a singular vision for design so that you don't end up with you know quarter going to nowhere because that was you know done or machines put in places that where there should be a corridor that there was a corridor but now there's a machine there and you got to kind of go back and go, oh, okay yeah, what's going on here but anyway so the initial build was pretty well done but they they started building out the set pieces like the bridge and things like that and deck one deck two and um then these things are like oh we need gangways oh we need to connect turbo lifts and that was one of the problems with this first build up here i'll zip up here real quick and show you uh it 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 kind of i'm gonna go ahead and slow down as we as we go through the ship here but this bridge is by far the lo best looking enterprise d bridge in the history of of uh, Minecraft period, I mean, none have been done better. So the hats off to all the builders who were involved in this design. And I tell you, it, it's gorgeous. And you come down this little pathway here. This had to be reworked because it got nerfed, and um, Pan wanted it redone, so he went ahead and found a copy of the old uh, version and and reimported it. So none of this can be touched, but past this point down through here all of this can be redone and it, it needs to be redone for a few reasons uh, yeah uh, yeah anyways this right here was is the emergency turbo lift beforehand as you'd come through the turbo lift into here or excuse me come through the path into here it was a one by two area or two by one area it was very narrow and just really didn't fit so I went ahead and I'm going to make it standardized three all the way through. And they're going with the three by three turbo lifts and three by three corridors where possible. Then there was all this through here. This kind of got messed up again. It was laid in and then it was revised and then it was mirrored incorrectly or nerfed. And anyway, so all this work in here that I that I this is where I started. It was all just eradicated. So Pan came through and cleaned it out and tried to make sense of it and couldn't make sense of it and decided to go ahead and just say, hey, can you redo all of this, all of this down through here, redo all of it? Can you replace this monkey mess through here and down through here and down through here and see if you can get it all, you know, standardized and cleaned up so it's not, you know, it's not a, it's not this, you know. So I, I said, yeah, I guess I could, um, you know, but I didn't want to step on any toes or anything like that because it's, you know, was at that time not my build, and uh, I was just helping out laying the deck plans. But again, you know, you start a big project like this, and it's easy to go, I've hit a roadblock or a wall, and I, I just don't want to build on it anymore. 
Um, initially, when I was laying out the deck plans, I'd laid out all the plans, and then somebody came through and uh, built this gorgeous hollow deck. And it nerfed a lot of the work I had done, so I had to go back through and try to unnerf the nerf. And I, I kind of sort of did it, but again, I'm just phoning it in at this point because I, I, my heart's just not in a big build. I just want to, you know, do a basic, you know, lay into the, the plans, then let the people that were building the ship go through and adjust things and tweak things and, you know, make things the way they wanted to make it you know, based off the plans, and they could loosely, you know, alter the plans as needed, but at least they had something to work from that was uniform. You know, you, you got to have a standard design going between your decks, or else you just, you get lost, and that was one of the problems Panic was having with that area back there, is it just didn't feel fluid enough, and when I was told that the, the main builder for this, uh, Calvin, had decided to, um, uh, leave the build to to focus on another design of the same build ship or other not really sure uh, i was like okay uh what do you want to do with it do you just want to scrap it uh what do you want to do and pan's like no can you give it a give it a go once over and see if you can fix any of this stuff or redo some of the stuff or you know just just do what you can and i said yeah i'll give it a, i'll give it a shot i'll give it a i'll give it a shot and there are a lot of really funky things with this okay so let's drop down here into this gorgeous hanger now there are some pieces that i cannot touch i cannot alter the shape of the hanger or any of the stuff inside of the hanger and now if i want if i could i would change quite a bit i mean this section right here is a pain in the ass when you drop down into here because it affects how you move turbo lifts into the drive hall because uh, right here, right behind this wall here, actually, if you drop down here, this is all drive hall. And atypically, the, the turbo lift would, on this deck, go in, then down into the drive hall. But because this parking bay is here, and it's so far back because of the, the lift requirements here, that means this turbo lift has to be routed differently. And one of the methods we came up with, I think this is the fifth or sixth version of this I ended up I ended up with because it kept getting deleted modified worked over um, I just you know I kept fixing it and fix and finally I just ended up with this and figured you know it just you got to do what you got to do to get it to work and uh, I figured this will phone it in and at some point you know they'll like hey yeah that's not working let's go ahead and fix it well you know Panic decided to pull the trigger on that and say, hey, yeah, I need to fix this. So this is the kind of um, situation we're in right now is all of this has been pulled out and I've dropped it down here. Again, I'm not saying anything bad about any of the builders. I mean, things are, like I said, it's called design creep for a reason. I mean, everybody has a, everybody has a, a design aspect that they want to implement. And sometimes, you know, they, they cross over and then you just got to find a way to make them work. And sometimes finding the way to make them work makes it, not work and then people lose interest in it because it just doesn't feel right it just doesn't feel good and uh it, you know big big project like this just gets abandoned and that sucks because so much work has already gone into it that abandoning it at this point is just you know ridiculous but you know none of the azteking pretty much under side of here has been done none of the saucer azteking has been done very little of the azteking on the back of the drive hole has been done. All the Aztecing for the Cobra head has been done because that was the main focus that uh, Calvin was focusing on. And that also brings me to another uh, problem with, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and speed up over here real quick. So originally Calvin had designed the Cobra head that it went so far up into the into the drive hall, into the primary hall here, that these pods literally were right here. And they're they're just that was just not workable. I mean, sure you can make small pods, but right here is the hull. <laughs> this brown part is actually a hull part. The green is the new hull, and this is just where these pods sit on the hull. Anyways, there was just no room back here. And if you jump through here real quick, there was really limited room for the garage for the um, for the arboretum here, and it just it did not feel roomy enough it just felt cramped and you know 
just horseshoed in when it shouldn't. This room, this room's a major area of the ship. It needs its breathing space. Anyways, and the reason for that was if you come down here, this deck right here, all of this deck was five blocks taller than it than than it was. It filled this entire area right here, and this part came right up to this to this uh, thing right here, and it, it it left no room back here as it sloped down or came back in through here. So what I ended up doing is I went to the original drive hall section and you can see this is the original and how it's raised it looks great it really does I mean that is gorgeous Calvin did a fantastic job with this but this one section through here is just I mean was just not the right fit for that for the room back there so I just lowered it by a couple of blocks now it's flatter looking it doesn't look as sexy as that but it's more functional and you'll never really see this and even if they even if they separate have two versions of the ship where one's separated and one's not, they can always go back to using this. Nobody'll know the difference. But while it's in the hall, it has to be this in order to have the room. And when it's outside of the hall, just go with this. That's why I left this alone and just kinda did this. Anyways, um, this was pulled out probably by Calvin to be worked on. This is lay this right here is Calvin's design. It's gonna it's really good. We're gonna keep that. But um, he did all this beautiful hall work on this girl. I mean, I'm pretty sure all this Aztec is probably Calvin. So, but it's gorgeous looking. I mean, if the lines are in, I could probably eyeball it uh, and do the Aztec now because I kind of understand how it's done. It's just exceptionally tedious to do. Uh, it's such a big ship. I mean, oh yeah, and there's some problems back here with these windows. I'm not really sure what's going on with them, but. They gotta be. They gotta be this one and this one. You know, I'd almost make these hangar bays, but you know, they're windows. So they're gonna be windows. So, anyways, back to what I'm doing here. Anywho, so I cannot touch deck one, but when I'll go ahead and get back down into slow here and come back in. Ah, but down here on deck two, I'm starting starting to revise it a little bit. Um, there was these this turbo lift. There's a two turbo lifts going down through the, the center of the ship and then they go back anyways they needed to be connected at some point and the way that it was set up originally it just wasn't working because it was kind of convoluted how you how do you get the turbo lifts routed so I decided to start up here on deck two and work on making sure that everything kind of lays in a little bit more smoother so as you come down through here you have a head you also have the bathrooms up here and the up there but you know why not have another one down here on deck two you've got this beautiful uh, conference room it'll all it'll all fit back in the ship when when you know when when it's all back in there uh, it's gonna be weird uh, I'll figure it out when I do it I think I'll lay in all the way this stuff here and then I'll uh, lay in the deck and then, yeah I'll figure it out anyways this is all the bridge module right here so there's not a lot of room to work with stuff so basically you have just the basic height which is three high and then you just kind of use which is nice about this pack is you can use trap doors to, to roof it like that that's a slab but you know you use trap doors to roof it and stuff like that but yeah I decided to go ahead and rework this area a little bit here this is a little EVA thing because evidently there was a there's a hatch here and uh, comes down into here uh, I might move this to give me more room, so I might actually redo this area. In fact, let's go ahead and do that real quick here. Let's go ahead and redo this, because technically, you know, I can I can always put a bathroom over there, you know, no big deal. And uh, let's go ahead and actually get rid of all this excess blue. And oh, I gotta gotta do the orange. Everything's color coded. Uh, pattern Jeffrey tube. It's not really a Jeffrey's tube, but it'll work as as such. Okay, so yeah, that's much better. I like that a lot easier. Come out of here now. It's not so much of a uh, pinch point. And then you can put an EVA EVA locker, a couple of EVA lockers in here. You know, something like this. And then this here can stay what it is, which is medical, and this can be determined. Um, there's a set of blocks here. Let's go here, and I think it's a head. Yeah, we'll go ahead and grab that and throw that in there. Grab that, grab that, and 
could be different, but I don't know. Should this one be the head or should this one be? The, uh, let's make this one. Let's make this one to be determined and drop this one as the uh, as the space John right there. Anyway, so you have a large area for medical and you have a little tight area here for security. And you got all these rooms along here and everything else. What I did initially is I went ahead and reshaped this corridor a little bit because there was a lot of dead space behind this wall here. Um, so I just went ahead and reshaped the corridor so that the the emergency turbo lift is now three wide because it makes it a lot easier when it's three wide going down than two wide and then trying to horseshoe it through the ship. It just, it was a pain in the pipe, so I figured, yeah, go ahead and do that. But anyways, what I'll do in here, I'm going to fill all this in with black terracotta, because why not? And um, this will all be filled in with black terracotta, and uh, let's go ahead and just, oops, hey you. Temporarily, I'm just putting these in here, so actually I don't need that in there. I just need this up through here. So, eh, 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 it's probably going to be hidden. So I'll just do, oops, hey there, hey. There, that, this through here. Actually, you know what? Uh, trap doors. We can actually bring this out to here. That'll even give us a little bit more room than normal. There we go. And then I can do another one of those. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, so they have three, we'll say two, right here. And that gives them a little room right here. Yeah, okay. I'll leave it like that, and then this can be just up to there. And get rid of that, that, that. Um, I'll leave that there because it has to be there. And this is all going to be walled in, so it's not going to be seen. And do this one as well. Then all of this through here I can I can route as a terracotta kind of fill it in, you know, so that it's all one height. Get rid of all this ugliness up through here, you know, that kind of stuff. Because why not? You know, it doesn't need to be here. Go ahead and toss it all in like see you. Yay, baby. Anyway, so, yeah, that's the plan for this one. And as I work my way down, I basically, I'm kind of doing it with the turbo lifts. That's, you know, turbo lifts are the primary thing. So this turbo lift here comes up here, and you have a little parking bay right here. Then, of course, it, these two hatches that allow it to dock with a, you know, a structure, and then they, they can just link turbo lifts. But if you come through the bridge here, okay, that's fixed. Anyways, um, yeah, weird. But turbo lift will come down here. Now this turbo lift beforehand was up here and it was routed this way, and it was just there was no way to, with the way that's set up, there was no way to you know properly size it to go through here. So I decided to bump that down to the next deck, and when I did that, I was able to connected to this turbo lift here. So now when I move down here, I don't have to worry about having all sorts of convoluted turbo lifting through here. Now my idea is with this run right here, I need to route this down the deck, down below the parking bay, and then back to back here. Now I thought about moving the entry point for the emergency turbo lift to this side, but it won't work. Um, because it'll it'll it just doesn't work that way. Uh, so what I'm thinking about doing, and I don't like the way that it's routed right now because um, it's just it's kind of is because again this parking bay just gets in the way. Now I I can play around with the parking bay a little bit on these things here, you know. But overall, Panic wants to keep most of this intact the way that it is. So I I, I I may not even mess with, in fact, I'm not even going to mess with that. I'm just going to leave it the way it is and just work with what I have. So, but anyways, it comes up here, and then it goes back here and goes into the drive hall. Now, all of this has been already cleaned up and already been redone so that it's no longer a janky mess. So, all I have to do is I have to, this will be the endpoint to the drive hall. So, I have to go from here to up there. Now, what I'm thinking of doing is Panic would like me to extend this corridor up to here and do it again on the, on the other side and then it leaves me all this space in here to play with so what I'm thinking is up here let's get to it from right here um, actually let's go ahead and bounce through here and go solid so I have this space right in here now that I can use for whatever I want 
Now, I can I can route the turbo lift through here, then to right here, and say drop it down right here to this point right here, and then straight straight back, and then over. Or I can run it where it comes. I could have it come down, and then I could have it run along this side here, and then jank over. Or I can have it cross over, have it come down. Um, we want to keep it as simple as possible. It'll just come straight down as much as possible. I'm going to have to move it in because it'll hit the, it'll hit these things, these computer cores if I don't. So no matter what, I'm going to have to move it around. And I'm thinking I'm moving it to right there, and then have it come down. And then I can have it at that point, or if I really well, I can't, because again it'll hit these cores. Um, well, I guess I could have it right here, because this is where it is on the plans. I could have it come down to right here, and then I can have it come back, and then go at an angle all the way back to here, kind of following this pattern right here. It it's kind of a toss up because you know you you you. you I don't know. I, I'd prefer to actually have it come back to here and then come down. This way here, this corridor can go all the way around, and this one here can as well. So you have centralized connecting, and then have it come back here down this straight line like this. Now, the ship is a double beam, so if the turbo lifts are six wide, I would have, you know, it would, yeah, it, it gets a bit confusing because in order to connect these turbo lifts, you'd have to drop down, cross over, come back up. And those bypasses are an ugly truth of these of this design. Unfortunately, because this parking base here and it's two block two two decks tall, you gotta kind of take everything that would go in those decks and smoosh them down into this lower deck here. Now it can be done, but you know it's all part of the process of trying to figure out how to do it. So basically, I gotta get that over there and make it functional so that you can you can access you know a lot of the stuff that's in here now if you go to the white fire plant even the sternbach plants it's just a long corridor basically turbo lift that goes to the back and then it just goes into the primary secondary hall and drops down but here it can't do that so it'll hit the secondary hall and it'll go along this edge here and then it'll go up and this is as you can see here this turbo lift kind of goes up and then kind of goes over the top of it and this is onto the inside. Now on this side, um, what I would like to do is, and I'm thinking how, how I would do that, is keep the turbo lifts in the same spot. See, right now it has a Jeffries tube. Move the Jeffries tube to the inside here, and have the turbo lift on the outside, and basically just redo that over there, but on the inside here, this will be, you know, the Jeffries tube going in. And then the Jeffrey's tube would just kind of go back through here. I don't know. I haven't, I haven't figured it out. Right now on the ship, I have this as a uh, corridor, and I, I really don't like it. I really don't like the way it looks. So I want to fix that. So I'm thinking this make this a Jeffrey's tube. That's that's my that's my working plan. So and then I got some other stuff down here on these decks. I'll have to redesign later on. I got to move some components from where they're currently situated. I got to reposition them so that they're more more soundly positioned so that when you come off the impulse there's a connection between the two impulse bays so that comes off the impulse bay comes over here thing comes over here then goes back to the other impulse bay i'd like to change a lot of things and let's go ahead and go back up to the ship here real quick primary i'll kind of show you what i would what my th thought process is also uh, uh, the main reason panic uh, wanted to, to fix things is the Secondary uh, shuttlecraft bays kind of got nerfed, and he, he didn't like how they got nerfed, so he wanted them to go back the way they were. So that was one of the main reasons for it. Um, he was not happy with how that how that looked. So, yeah. Anyways, now, here's the impulse bay. And again, you can see the big connection line, how it goes all the way up here. Now, this takes up a lot of space that you, it gets cut off and I'd like to rework this and you can see how it connects to these fusion reactors panic doesn't like these fusion reactors where they're at so I have to move these fusion reactors now the plants both sets of plans have auxiliary fusion reactors up here actually right here it doesn't mean we have to have them 
I mean, there's no reason they have to be there, but, but they're basically emergency to power the, the warp, the computer cores, to provide auxiliary power to the cores. Uh, they don't have to be there. I mean, they're beautiful. I mean, Calvin did a nice job designing them, but, you know, they're kind of neat to have, but they don't really need to be here. So what I'm thinking about doing, what I need to do actually, is I'm going to reroute this this conduit right here. I'm going to reroute it so that it goes along the corridor, along the hull, and comes back around this way. It gives me all the space back open again, and it'll come back through here, and then it'll it'll connect in, and then it'll umbilical to the to the uh, to the drive hall. Now. I can do that. That will actually the main reason. It's a power conduit between the two impulse engines for power balancing. So they, they have to turn the ship. They can turn the ship, and this keeps everything in sync. And they can use uh, the impulse engines to you know thrust their their angle and turn and stuff. Now you have these spots right here. These things right here. What I'm thinking about doing is these are docking latches. But Calvin has these up here as docking latches. So what I did with the other D is I made one of these it's a docking latch but it's a coupled docking latch in other words it's a it's a it's a way to transfer power from the impulse engines or from the primary hall to the drive hall from the drive hall to primary hall now i can't do it with this one because windows so the one i'm thinking about using is this one and what i'm thinking about doing is building a a big section here in this area right here that basically this is a power conduit and when it passes into here I have all the space in here to take this and make it, you know, like a big power conduit, and then I can have it come back through here and route its way back into back here where I'm going to build a spine section. And, uh, yeah, go from there and see what happens. Again, I'm not really sure how it's going to play out, but that's the game plan. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and make that a thing. I don't know if it'll work or not, but, you know, just a working plan. Again, I, I don't know how far along I'll get. I may just, you know, tinker with this burnout and, you know, uh, go do something else for a while. I don't know. It just is what it is. I mean, when it comes to these things, I've been doing this now 10 years, 11 years. It's fun, but I'm dated. I mean, if you really want to check out some good stuff, I strongly suggest you pop on the pop on the TrekCraft server and go and check out what Calvin's doing with his hall work on the Voyager and stuff, and especially what Creeper's doing with the uh, with the Enterprise refit. Uh, if you want your mind literally blown, I strongly recommend getting on the server and checking out the what Creeper is doing on that ship on the Enterprise refit. That thing is just absolutely mind blowing. It's the It'll be the best Enterprise ever made for Minecraft uh, moving forward. And I, I guarantee that you will not be disappointed. That thing is just absolutely stunning. And I can't say enough good things about it. And I'd like to do a dedicated video when Creeper's on so we can walk around and gush over how much awesome this Creeper has incorporated into that ship. And I, the neat thing about that is a lot of the stuff that he's incorporated into that build, we can pirate for our future builds if so... Yeah, win, win. Anyways, I do appreciate you taking the time to, you know, tune into the server here and uh, watch what I'm doing. And I have absolutely no idea what this is here for, uh, but it's here. Anyways, and uh, this is a TrekCraft server, and it's an active build server. It's 118.2. It does require a resource pack and a mod. So, yeah, uh, if you're interested in checking it out, check it out. It's uh, It's got a lot of cool builds on it. Anywho. Chat with you later. Bye-bye.